We're here at Team Sport Preston. After two years, the venue has reopened. We know on social media, people care. We have had comments non-stop for about a year to ask us, when is Preston opening? Well, guess what? It has finally opened. So let's check the place out. We're finally at Preston. After finally. Two years. Um, I mean, on social media, people have been absolutely excited for this. They've been talking about it for, for a long, long time. But take me back to day one, you know, your, your task to revamp Preston. Where do you even start? Well, uh, it was a tough one, this. Obviously, um, you know, we had the fire at the site, so the building was pretty much stripped back to its bare bones, back to the portal frame, roof came off, absolutely everything. So what we're left with now is a finished building and it's, it's brand new, which is fantastic. Um, and it really gave us an opportunity um, to, to bring the site up to the current branding, colors, innovations that we were put in a brand new site. So it was a, it was a really, really good project to work on and a great opportunity for us to to, to bring it into the, 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 the latest standards. And how stressful was the last week or two? Because it's always stressful. They're always <laughs> stressful, always problems. But you know, that's, that's what we do in, you know, in, in, in the projects team is we, we find problems and we overcome them. You know, there's, it's never plain sailing, but you know, we, we, we've done a great job here and the team have done a fantastic job in you know, what you see in front of you now. And talking generally, you know, we've, We've done a lot of work in our bar areas, across our tracks and stuff. How, how important is that kind of whole you know, food offering, the bar offering, the, the ability to kind of hang out after and before? How important is that now? Yeah, it's, mass it's massively important. I remember when I joined Team Sport 14 years ago <laughs> and we didn't even have bars then. Yeah. We had little cafes. Yeah. And you know, the next step for us was to put bars in and then the next step is to create you know, nice bars like this. And then the next step is, well, how can we inc increase dwell time and give people more to do when they're at our sites? You know, we are generally speaking, our sites are in industrial areas. Yeah. So we want people to come here and be able to do lots of different activities rather than just come here and do karting. Mm. So a lot of the work we do now is, is looking at how we can incorporate all the different activities that we do, whether that be laser, laser combat, puck club, uh, the VR, the, the duck pin bowling, the, the Sims, the arcade, you know, the, the raft of different options we've got and we can cherry pick from to fit into our oh. sites. Fantastic, look at it. What an amazing venue. I think I said in Newcastle yeah, you did. that that was my favourite. Got a new favourite <laughs> now, it's Preston. And also that's now how we roll in the north. Yeah. All the venues that we change or open, they've got to be like this. And, and how come you keep getting all these cool tracks? Because we've been up to Newcastle, we've come here, we even went to Clydebank, which is one of yours as well, that got redone. So why is it always you? I don't know, just lucky, I think. But yeah, may, uh, may, it, may it continue. Yeah. They are just fabulous venues. They've got the, the, the size, they've got the, the scale. They're really, really busy venues as well. So they will typically a month run something like 6,000 drivers. Yeah. So we're just talking just great, great tracks, great buildings, a huge scale of what we do. Oh, it's great. I mean, every, every time, whenever we open a new site, it's, all, it's always great. I mean, it's, sort of, it's, another, it's another mark on the map. So I think to be, you know, we've got a few sites up in up in the northwest, but but Preston's you know is a great area for us, and to have 
a site that's so accessible that sort of feeds, you know, Preston and the surrounding areas is, uh, is great. I, I know there's been lots of interest about sort of when the site's opening and, and finally, as you can hear, we're, uh, we're, we're now there, so, which yeah. is great. It's yeah. really good. Uh, massive proud moment for me personally and for the whole team. Uh, this is accumulation of weeks, months, years getting to this point uh, to finally open Team Four Preston again. Um, simply opened a few days ago. Uh, the atmosphere has been electric, huge support. Really, as we felt the, um, the the vibe and, and the, just the passion of all our customers that get down, come and see the venue, try the parts. So, uh, so we had it all there. Really good moment. Well, we're really lucky. We've got a great team um, and lots of different people looking after little different bits and aspects of the marketing and relaunch. So first thing we'll do is we'll announce that to the team when we've got the relaunch date so everyone's on the same page as to the go live date. And then we'll kind of figure out probably somewhere between four and three weeks before the actual open date as to kind of when bookings are gonna go live and the first kind of emails and app pushes will be sent. I think we'll obviously dovetail in with yourself and Tom on social media and making sure that we're building the excitement and collecting the assets that we need to really launch it with some gusto. So kind of the before and after shots are really popular. Uh, so we'll make sure that we've got those going on. We'll line up a press release. We'll talk to local press and see what interest there is in kind of attending on the day. We'll look at social influences and getting those down. Um, depending on how big we go, we'll look at kind of more above what we call above the line activity. So that was your things like your radio and your billboards and just make sure that all our internal comms are good for our team because we need to have the business excited about the fact that we're re reopening and that everyone's on board and excited about that because I think that's where the excitement comes from for the customers. You know, marketing, it, it's about what faces out from the business, but it's also a large part of what, what is internal and um, making sure that our team are on board with us and, and know the plan as well is really important. Now we're going to do a track walk inspired by the F1 with our mechanic, Jack, who's an expert and has done over 100 laps. Let's have a look at the track. Hi guys, we're here at Preston, the most eagerly awaited reopening I think I've ever seen. It has reopened. I've got Jack here with me. We're going to do a little walkthrough of the track. So Jack, tell me a bit about the track. I know it's 500 meters, 12 corners, multi-level, but how exciting is this track? And you told me you've done about 100 laps yeah, on it, so already, you yeah. know it. <laughs> yeah, so all new track, uh, surface is brand new, slightly different layout to what it used to be. Um, obviously we've done two layers now, but it's got a whole new personality to it. So, let's start finish straight here. Yep. Um, you get a nice wide exit, and this is a hugely fast uh, part of the circuit here. So, we're going looping all the way around up through the ramp that heads up top. Um, but yeah, we're starting off down here, straight down here. Some people yep. use their boost down here for okay. the new electric carts. Yep, so. yep. And, and, and well, tell me a bit about the boost. Uh, how many seconds is it? How many times can you use it a lap? That yeah, kind of stuff. so. There is a cool down, it's about a 30 second cool down, okay. um, which in turn means just about a lap to a, yep. a boost that you can have every lap. Uh, three seconds it lasts for, um, so it's best to use it wisely yeah, yeah. around the circuit. And I guess at the moment people don't know when to use it yeah, at the moment. it's a whole new circuit, so um, it's still working out. Yeah. whole new carts as well, we're pressing used to be in the uh, yeah. petrol circuit. So, so still yeah. full throttle about here? Yeah, Maybe. full throttle all the way around this part of the circuit. Okay. Um, really really fast you'll be coming out super super wide here you want to yeah. be right against the wall yeah. uh, using every part of the circuit as we head into turn two um which again flat out corner you yeah. want to try and get as much speed through here as possible yeah. without getting any oversteer um fastest way around the circuit to be honest yeah uh, and how have people found it like you know what 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 have members been saying and customers that have been coming? Have Mem been... Members have been loving it, yeah. They're yeah. loving the new electric carts. Yeah. Um, they're loving the, you know, the boost feature, adds a, a new element to the yeah, races. Yeah, absolutely, so yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, they've been really, really enjoying it. We've had loads of good feedback. And uh, yeah, we just keep getting customers coming off really, really happy every single time. Yeah. Um, they're loving this new sort of layout, which yeah. is really, really good. Yeah. Um, so up the ramp we it's go. Yeah. This is another opportunity to use your boost. Okay. It's really, really yeah. good. Because uh, with the boost, it adds a bit of torque to your, to your motor in your car. Yeah. So as you come up the hill, best to use the boost. It gives you that bit of torque to push you up the hill. 
and uh, up into Tokyo, which is a long sweeping left. I would call it Tokyo because it'd be like Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, drift. Yeah, yeah. When you've got the boost on here, you'll be sideways all the way around. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Tokyo drift all the way around uh -huh. to the top here. And uh, yeah, you would just want to be keeping it ideally in the middle of the circuit is what yeah. I found to be fastest. Uh -huh. So You can sort of see it. the line sort of yeah, developing. Yeah, you and can see it and you can see where people sort of had their rears yeah, yeah. with all the, all the little, tire marks. Yeah. It's a miracle there's not much smoke in here to be honest after it, but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you want to be ideally around this, this middle part of the circuit and in between these lines yeah. here keeping it nice and tight here then to this next left hander again cool. you'll be flat out throughout this whole section okay. all the way through so it's here. quick it's a yeah. quick start of the lap isn't it when you get when you have your boost on you'll be about 35 40 miles an hour yeah, wow. around that sort of territory wow. which is pretty free really, that really is quick, quick. Yeah. yeah so then it looks like this is now where the challenge comes yeah. in <laughs> this is probably the one of the hardest corners on the on the circuit because you're coming from you know, a fast left hander into yeah. a heavy braking zone. And if if you're if you get your steering wrong in this braking zone, you'd be spinning round and yeah, you yeah, see yeah. loads of customers doing it. They're not not really familiar with the circuit. Yeah, of course, yeah. And with the grip slowly bringing up as well, with it being a new circuit, they'll find it a little bit hard to sort of find yeah, the grip. But the key is just to get that little bit of rotation, hook it round, and you want to be keeping left on the exit here huh? as much as you can. So open up this next right. It's all a big sort of loop. Once you get one corner right, you'll get the next one right yeah. as well. So and you can sort of see the line keeping it tight round here yeah. over the left hand side and you're hooking it round here. The nice right hander. It's a really nice corner this one. If you get it right, you can yeah. feel the car just rip up and it wants to get out of the corner really yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah. So it's a perfect opportunity. And especially here, this is a prime overtaking opportunity with that fast, yeah. fast left hander. Well, yeah. And, and, and how have you found the first couple of days here? Like as a, as a crew member, Obviously, it's been you're part of something pretty yeah, unreal. Yeah, yeah. Have it's, you? it's been a bit surreal to be honest. I've not yeah. really been a part of something this big before, yeah. so it's uh, yeah, it's been a whole sort of experience. I'm a mechanic here, so yeah. I've, been, I've been overseeing the carts coming in, setting up all the carts, and you know, yeah. seeing them run now, and all the customers being super happy with it. It's really, really fun. Cool. Um, so I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Cool. This this is a this is a good good part of the circuit. I really yeah. like this part. So I've come I've coined the term the hook. Yeah. Because it sort of looks like a hook. Okay. Yeah. Um, but as you come in here, you sort of want to flick it right, yeah. flick it left, and you get a really nice rotation. You can sort of see where. Yeah, you can see where. <laughs> it slowly yeah. gets darker and darker. Yeah. You can see a couple that might yeah. have gone a little bit off. So <laughs> yeah, hook it right, hook it left. Okay. Around this left hand there, you get a really nice exit. You want to be bringing it all the way wide on exit using every single part of the circuit that you can. And that'll set it up really nicely for when we head down this left and down the ramp, which is another really fun part of the circuit. It yeah. just keeps adding on. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really, really fun circuit. And it, it keeps that sort of the element that Preston had before. Yeah. So it's a similar sort of layout, just this yeah. is where the main change really happens down this ramp. Yeah. So. And we've heard from people, sort of, we talked to a couple of members this week, I suppose, yeah. who are obviously come from a, maybe a petrol truck who were trying electric either for the first time yeah. or. And they were really surprised at just how the carts were and yeah. how they kind of drove and things like yeah. that. It's a big change, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, very very different to what the petrol carts feel like i've yeah. driven, driven both yeah. now and it's the, the electrics just bring a whole new sort of game to it with uh, we can configure them however we want yeah uh, we set the speeds and everything and it's just it's a really really cool experience yeah and with the boost adds a massive element That's, to yeah, the racing yeah, yeah. as well and we're also sort of well from customers and we were seeing the lap times as well yeah. and they were so they were very close because they, because people don't know the track yet it's yeah. really even at the moment yeah, isn't it, it is, as well yeah. which is quite good to yeah, see it'll keep tumbling as well which is really cool yeah. this part of the circuit is yeah. a really technical part of the minute uh, it's added its own sort of little personality to it so you've got as you head down the ramp yeah. you've got a bump there and you can sort of see where the carts are sort of bottoming out yeah, yeah so that is basically your brake marker and if you get that wrong that can actually set you up pretty badly yeah, yeah. so people use it to sort of turn the car if you okay. sort of learn the circuit enough you can really get the car rotated for this next lap on yeah. open. and uh yeah you can get a really nice exit out of here yeah so again what tight here and yeah, then wide so keeping it nice and tight on on the yeah. on the entry there hitting the bump getting the car nicely rotated yeah. and then you want to sort of apex it a little bit early yeah. let it run really wide here yeah and then scoot you back over to the left hand side yeah. for another right handed hairpin. Cool. And uh, yeah. so I imagine this has been a bit tricky for people initially who yeah. are still learning the line. And yeah. we were watching yesterday, we did see a few kind of just spin yeah. just because they weren't quite on the yeah. line. And it's obviously it's different from what Preston used to be yeah. as well, where it used to cut right before the, yeah. before the, uh, the left hand hairpin. But 
Yeah, it's this is an all new sort of feel to, to Preston now with this sort of section. So yeah. that's yeah. an amazing track and even like just the light and stuff, it yeah. just looks just looks amazing, yeah, doesn't it? it? Feel, it feels really modern, like yeah. for a team sport. I've, you know, I looked at videos from other team sports, so just like, yeah. wow, this is like yeah. this it's looks, an unreal facility. This looks real, yeah. Whole new, yeah. And then yeah. here, right hand hairpin. Again, you can sort of see the lines. It's a nice sort of apex in the middle. Get it running wide on exit. Get a nice, nice exit. Try not to get much oversteer. You want to get all the power down that you can. Try not to scrub any speed off. Yeah. Let it run nice and wide and hook yourself ready for the final corner. And uh, yeah, you just, this is these hairpins are prime, you know, overtaking zones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see massive overtakes coming down here, especially yeah. into this corner here. We see quite a few. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fun part of the circuit. Just yeah. uh, hairpin after hairpin after hairpin, you can find loads yeah. of overtaking opportunities. It just has so, that perfect track. A lot of yeah. fast, fast moments, a couple of tricky turns, which is great, and lots of overtaking opportunities. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's definitely. kind of that's the perfect combination, isn't it? For yeah, a, exactly. For a track. Yeah. So final corner. Yeah. Nice and wide. Yeah. Again, same sort of philosophy we did in that last corner. Yeah. Hooking it nice and nice and early and getting a nice run onto yeah. the start finish straight. And you're setting yourself up for a nice new lap. Yeah. Jack. Thank you. No worries. Just, just jump pleasure. in the carts and try one now. Yeah. Let's see if I've listened to your <laughs> advice. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've got a mixture of some ex-Team 4 staff that were here originally, other Team 4 staff from other sites have come across, and then Jonathan's team are brand new, so they bring a fresh energy, so uh, it's been a good mixture. They really have. Uh, the staff are just with us. Like, they love all the opening of combat carts, they love the electrification, they love the fact that we're, re, you know, rebranding, re it's yeah. looking like this. They're really part of it. We ask them, you know, uh, every six months we do, we do these road shows where we ask them, you know, their opinion, their thoughts on things. So they're part of our journey. Yeah. So all that's really important to us. Look, it's a real challenge and I think the, the, the biggest challenge is for the team because they're, they're they're, you know, they're, they're let loose with, with, with new customers and they've got to really think on their feet. But as we've, as we've grown, you know, the teams can, done, can done do more training at other sites. So the Preston team have been training off at um, other electric sites in Manchester and, and such and learning what it's like. So that, that, gives, that, that gives them loads of confidence for when, when that opening day comes, they, they know what they're doing. But, but nothing, it's a bit like learning to drive. Yeah. Until you're on your own and you're in there, with you know your customers and your team and your circuit, it's um, it is a slight baptism of fire. But but we've got you know around the company now we've got we've got loads of tracks, loads of people that want to help, loads of experience. So it, it's certainly it, it's it's a lot easier than it used to be. It's not, what job isn't? I mean I've got a good team and there's 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 great people in this business that want to you know sort of have, have come a long way and progressed and want to sort of help and get involved and get stuck in so of course you know i think you know 35 tracks you know over one and a half million guests a year it, it, it there's always going to be things but i think you know the the you're constantly learning the, the you know we're, we're we're pushing on as a side as the business goes so yeah i of, of course what, what you know as i said what job isn't stressful <laughs> you know what i mean but but it's great. So you've now heard from some of our colleagues, it is now time to see a hot lap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is back! Team Sport Preston, 500 meters of driving heaven. Here we go for the hot lap. And we are gonna hit the boost button straight away for the infamous corkscrew corner that very much survives from the old circuit. Here we go, relentless, all the way around the building to the fastest point of the circuit. Trying hard to smooth out these hairpins as much as we possibly can before we will flick the cars right, then left. Lining the car up on the down ramp, we're gonna brake as late as we dare. There we go, we put the cart in there, we hit the apex, that was good. One more right hand hairpin which was okay and now we've got the final corner before we go back on to the start finish line. Oh, so we do that corner again it's so good it just goes left left up the ramp back into the left hander once again all the way round to the fastest point of the circuit and that is a lap of Team Sport Preston. Adam Hello. Hello again. <laughs> How are we doing? We're very well. We're very well. We're out another track. What role do you play? So, group technical manager. I look after the carts. 
I once the circuits are open, make sure the tracks are, are working properly as well. We have our, our, our tech team guys, they do a fantastic job building the, uh, the tracks and getting them ready. I, I make sure the carts themselves are here, here on time, um, ready to go and make sure they're a great drive when, when they're on track. Yeah. And then we've got the team to make sure the carts continue to be great once they're, uh, once they're, once they're open. So yeah. for me, it's making sure the workshop's right, making sure the chargers, the carts, the pit lane, everything is here, good to go, so we can open the doors yeah. when, when we're ready. And you mentioned earlier, I heard you talking to somebody else, and you mentioned uh, car installation. Well, what does that mean to someone who doesn't know what that means? Car installation, so that is the, uh, the, 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 the mental part of the track build. So we get, we get everything ready, it's all good, and then it's the cart. So uh, carts get delivered. Um, we have two manufacturers of carts, um, Sodi from France, and Biz, who are based in North London. So uh, they arrive, they're on a lorry, they're built-ish, and then you uh, get them off, steering wheels on, NASA panels on, you've got to make sure the transponders are on, they're ready. Um, get them off the pallets. Uh, this site has a very unique uh, challenge because we've got the combat carts downstairs yeah. and we've taken the ramps away, there's no ramps to get the carts <laughs> to the first floor. So uh, that involves forklifting them up onto, uh, onto the first floor, which... Uh, when you've got 40 odd carts to get in the building, that's, uh, so Challenge. that's no mean feat. So you get them all in and then upstairs, connect the batteries up, make sure all the electrical parts are connected, get them on charge, make sure the batteries are ready. And then is uh, making sure that with, like, with uh, petrol carts, you just put oil in them, you put fuel yeah. in them, fit a transponder and then off you go. And the cart is what it is. You, you haven't got a lot you can change with it. A bit of gearing to make sure it doesn't over rev and make sure it's fast out the corners. With an electric car, the world is your oyster. You've got a, a blank canvas almost where you can change how much torque it's got, how much power it's got, it's max RPM, how it delivers the power. So what we're trying to do with our electrification project and moving the carts from the world of petrol into electric is to make sure they're still exciting. There's all sorts of opinions on what people think of electric cars, electric carts, and we've got to win the hearts and minds of people to make sure people understand that Progress is great and, and this is the future and it's here to stay and we're going to make sure it is fun and exciting and unique for, for each track, you know. Yeah. So we get the car, with tracks that have petrol carts there already, we drive them alongside each other, we try and get the power delivery sort of as similar as we can, um, but we've got to make sure that this new electric world is still exciting, a little bit more power here, a little bit more torque, making sure that they are equal, slightly better in performance. And the electric world also gives us a new option to offer our, our, our elite members a faster experience too. So on select sessions, we can have a, a faster level. Um, we've also got the boost button on these yeah, cards yeah, as well. Yeah. So uh, get a little bit of boost, a bit of overtake, a bit of a tactic involved in when you deploy it, how you deploy it, how long we set it up for. So there's so many settings to get right to make sure we deliver a great experience. And I think the feedback we've had so far is that we nailed it, which is great. Yeah. And what do you think the future is for those kind of electric carts and stuff? Because no doubt there's so much more we can do in the future. And, and, and te as technology improves, there'll be lots of stuff coming out, I'm of sure. Of course, of course. I mean, here there's some unique features that we've never used before. We've got the pit lane speed limit. So the pit lane is a neutral area now. Um, we can control speeds more readily. We can have. Some and does that happen like automatically as a carter comes in? Yeah, to the pit? here we spend, we've got quite quite a lot of kit up there now. Yeah. Uh, which actually, as soon as you come in the pit lane, there's a little line slows them down, speeds them up on the way out. Obviously, we combat carts which gives the game. That wasn't yeah. possible with petrol carts. Yeah, so that's yeah. the technology there. Um, there's GPS tracking systems that we've got on the carts now that we can sit there and look. Not here, not here yet, but um, we're, we're still trialing it at some venues. The world is our oyster, I think, with the electric product, it gives us much more tunability. Yeah, look, nothing nothing will replace petrol, but you know that, I mean, loads, loads of the crew members, loads of guests that say, you know, oh, but the, 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 the noise, the smell, the, the, the way the throttle works, the, 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 the power, you know, it, nothing, it won't, electric doesn't replace that, but I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it comes up level with it in a, in a different, in a different yeah. way, and I think, you know, it, 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 we're indoor karting. Um, running petrol in, in indoors is obviously, you know, gets gets tougher. Yeah. Um, you know, as as the world moves on, and we've got to be careful of that and mindful of that. So, yeah. I think you know the the electric experience, which you can hear going around yeah, now, yeah. Is, is you know it, it, it is where the sort of the, the world is heading. Yeah. Um, I think we've you know we we knew we started electric back at our Tower Bridge site, and we knew that that, that this is 
this is likely to be the future. Yeah. Just sort of didn't know when. And we've still got petrol sites, but obviously the, the plan is to move those yeah. across. So, yeah, I think, I think you know, that, that, that is the way the world is heading. Look, look out on the road. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a sad goodbye in a way, yeah. but it also is a bit of a new chapter, new generation as well. It is, and the, the great thing is, is we're having uh, customers come in who are used to the petrol. Uh, they're thinking, am I gonna like the electric? And they're loving the electric because they do drive very, very similar to the petrol carts. And of course, they've got the now infamous boost button as well. So that makes it a bit more uh, uh, strategical. Uh, and once lab, you can press that boost button and get an extra five seconds of uh, speed, uh, which some people are using on the up ramps, some people are using out the, uh, the mm. slower hairpin corners. It just adds an extra element to what they're doing. Oh, I mean, I'm a petrol head. I'm sure yeah. we, we said this before yeah, at Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a petrol head. When we first got electric carts, I was like, ah, milk flight racing, you know? And <laughs> I think that's the opinion of a lot of people that haven't driven them. Yeah. Um, and I think the early carts were a bit clunky, they're a bit heavy. But they, the technology has moved. Both Biz and Sodi have done a fantastic job really bringing the technology forward. And the carts are fantastic. And mm. actually, if I had to pick a cart now, I'd pick electric. Yeah. Um, probably because I've got a few more pounds than <laughs> yeah. I used to. And that's it. The weight, the weight isn't as noticeable. The weight difference or penalty yeah. isn't as noticeable in, in an electric cart as it is a petrol. Yeah. So, Someone did say earlier that they felt that there was a lot yeah, less of a difference between the carts mm. and the electric. Yeah. And, and it's, easier to, yeah, and it's easier to keep them even. Um, yeah. There's always minute differences. So they're mass-produced motors, mass-produced batteries, oh. but mass-produced engines have far uh, bigger tolerances in them than, than electric stuff does. So actually, even a brand new fleet of carts, no matter how well maintained they are, the engine is the biggest differential factor in, in, in how well it performs. And that is a big leveler with, with the electric cars. The, the guests and members I've spoken to that in the past have said, you know, I won't, yeah, yeah. why are you changing to electric? Have, have, have converted, shall we say. And I think, you know, once you've driven it and you realize the, the, how the torque works and the, the different feel to the, to the drive, you know, it's a heavier car, but, but the, the, the power is, is, is so much more instant. It's great. And then you've got the things like boost and bits and pieces, lights, um, you know, braking. Um, we, we've got systems which can slow carts down. We've got systems that can speed carts up. So for our, our elite members, you know, we can put them on a high speed setting. So there, there's that kind of stuff. You can't do that with petrol particularly easily. So having that kind of stuff, there, there, there's some real add added benefits for yeah. sure. I think this is probably where you and I need to probably swap seats a kill because being social media manager, I think you kind of probably are on the cold face of a lot of that. I think, yeah, customers are vocal. I think vocal when we get things really right and vocal when we do things that they potentially don't like as much. Um, and I think it's really important. It's, it's, it's hard, but I think there's always, we're always acting with the customer's best interest in mind. You know, we are a custom, we are a business that puts customer on poll number one hashtag and yeah. um, so i think as long as we kind of stick with that i don't think we can go that far yeah. wrong so there you see karting is just epic here in preston what else is epic is combat karts now we're still testing here in preston at the moment but here's a lap from newcastle where we launched earlier this year here we are guys just lining up on the grid for the brand new combat carts experience at Team Sport Newcastle. Here we are just starting our grid start for the game. And as you can see, everyone's pulling up around me. Come on guys, get your pit grid positions. So as I say, this is a new experience here at Team Sport Newcastle. It's a game. As we go around, we're gonna collect items that we can use to benefit us throughout this game. We can fire rockets, we can shield ourselves, we can we can drop bombs, all sorts of different things. It is a good start, so we're going to wait for our gent here to tell us all to right go. Guys, ignore this light, I'm going to change this one to green, but stay where you are. You the red lights on the TV and on your glass. Get four Two red lights. The TV screen's going to show us when to go, and also the screen on our dashboard, wheel, the steering wheel, is going to show us as well. So, here we go, getting ourselves ready to race. This isn't going to be a usual hot lap, guys, because the idea of the game isn't to race around. It's to, to get the boosts and everything that you need to win the race. So it's not going to be a usual grid start. Here we go. Wait for the green. Let's go, 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 go. Foot down and we go. We're all right. We're in third place currently. Looking behind us here, checking out 
There we go, a little bump there with that guy, but here we go. So we're ready, heading down to our uh, to the second corner, third corner here. On the left-hand side is our boost. We're going to go through that, get our power up. What are we going to get? We've got the rocket. We're going to push the button on our steering wheel, fire that rocket off in front of us. The person's going to hit the person in front. It has hit them in front, so we're going to be able to get up here, hopefully overtake them by the next corner. Yes, we do, but we've missed the power up there. We've just missed it on the left-hand side. What are we going to get hit with? We may well get hit as we get up to this next corner. He's got a boost. He's got the boost. He's overtaking me into this corner. Here we go. There's another boost in the middle here. Going to go under the power up. What have I got? I've got the boost now, so hopefully I can get past him, overtake him into the next corner. Going to use this one up. Give me the boost. Oh, and the power it gives you as you go up to here, trying to keep it straight as we go through this corner. I've still got boost to use. Take this corner. Can I get on the inside? I've just a little hit there. I've got hit by someone above behind me, which means that I've lost my power up, which means I can't boost anymore. Here we go. Take this corner. Can I get the power up? I think I missed that one, guys. Didn't hear the noise as I went through it. You hear the noise come over the PA system as you drive through it if you get the boost. Over the straight, fast start finish line. Here we go. Can I get that boost as well? No, I've missed that one as well. Oh no, I've got it. There we go. So I've got a rocket. Going to fire that one off. There we go. Send that off in front. And I hit direct hit. There we go. It's going to slow him down. He's gone through the boost as well. But he's probably got the boost after I hit him with the rocket. Here we are heading up to the next hairpin. I'm going to drop the bomb for the person behind me. There we go. Use that strategically there just before the corner. Go through, get the boost and power up as well as we're heading up the last final straight up to the end here. As I say, this isn't going to be a usual hot lap that we would have because every game is going to differ. As you play this game, who you play it with, how you play it, if you go through the bonuses or not, it's going to really determine the type of game you have and your experience of the game. So it's not like a usual track uh, hot lap that we do where you know there's a racing line and everything. There really is no kind of racing line on this apart from making sure that you get through and get those boosts as you go around the track. Thanks everyone for joining me today at Team Sport Newcastle on the brand new UK First experience of combat carts. I'm going to carry on round to try and win this race but at the moment it doesn't look likely. See you next time. Preston is now the second track to yeah. the combat carts. How excited are you about that? Oh massively excited. You know, I'm, I'm you know chomping at the bit to go <laughs> downstairs and, and drive it for the first time. It, 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 takes, it takes the product to a whole, whole new level and uh, I think Newcastle has really opened up everybody's eyes to how much more there is to karting you know if you want to go and you want to race that's fine you know we can we can offer you that but if you want something a little bit different a little bit more fun um you know especially for you know kids and people that ordinarily wouldn't go karting it's, it's a great introduction and a great way to get people into yeah. the sites and you think we see like more families in and stuff like that on the back of that yeah a a absolutely i mean there aren't many many activities that you can do with a you know, a 12-year-old and an 80-year-old at the same time. And there aren't many sort of physical or activities that you can do where the 12-year-old can beat, yeah. you know, the 80-year-old or the dad. Yeah. And Combat Cast gives you that opportunity. It's yeah. fun for everyone. And what's next for Team Sport? You know, more tracks, getting things like this, more anti yeah. going in? Yeah, more, more tracks, um, both in the UK and in Europe. Um, our conversion project to get all of our sites to uh, electric carts and with that adding in more ancillary where we've got the space and that's when I was talking about the cherry picking is we can't put everything into yeah. all the sites we can't put combat carts into all the sites but there are some we can and others will get different bits so yeah new branding rebadge to e-carting electrification and tons more new yeah. sites coming in the UK and Europe. And last question, from a personal level, you said you've been there 14 years and stuff like this. When a track like this does reopen, what, what, what's, what, what, how do you feel inside? What, is there a sense of pr pride? Is it a sense of, oh, I'm glad that's over? Or how, because it must be a similar yeah. feeling. All, all, all of the above, <laughs> all of the above. Um, you know, it's not, I guess people only see me on site doing stuff for the last few weeks of a project. Yeah. What they don't realise, I've probably been working on it for two years, yeah. you know, through the, the, the getting, getting planning consent, doing the design, designing the track, um, working with contractors through the build process, and then sort of the final fit out. So for me, it's, it's a culmination of, you know, a lot of work over you know, a long period of time. So certainly a sense of pride in, you know, being able to produce a facility like this. And I'll always stick around for that first customer to drive on yeah. track before I, I head back and close the door on the project. And it's just amazing seeing people come off track for the first time. 
you know, big smile, having had an you know, amazing experience and knowing that you've, you've been part of you know, generating that for them. Well, the big thing is our launch into, into the Netherlands, into Holland with the, the opening of the wall in Utrecht. I know the team, uh, the European team, are working really hard on that and that's extremely exciting. It's in the um, first uh, track that we've got in a kind of shopping centre setting. So that's, that's completely new, completely new market, half an hour from Amsterdam. It's on a massive kind of uh, highway, four lanes. So it's a completely different prospect to any of the tracks we've got so far. So mm. yeah, fingers crossed, that's gonna be hugely exciting and hugely successful. I always say, you know, people are coming to us because they want to come. You know, this is, a, this is an exciting afternoon. Um, there's many other industries, even in leisure, which, you know, it's, it's a good afternoon, whereas this is, this is great. You come in racing, whether it be combat carts or on the, on the main fleet, it's, um, this, is a, this is a, you know, good activity. It's a great, great, great fun event. There we have it. That is Team Sport Preston, which has reopened after two years of closure. It's got a 500 meter, 12 corner, multi-level e-karting track. It's also got a 250 meter combat karts track. It's got basketball. It's got air hockey. It's got sim simulator. It's got a lovely bar area with a brand new food menu. It's got the lot. Come and check it out. This is Team Sport Preston. Thank <laughs> you.